As the Russian-Ukraine war carries on, some members of a local faith organization who've been there since the start have returned home. Even though they've returned, their work isn't over. 10TV's Ashley Baranson sat down with some leaders from Jewish Columbus to hear how they're working on what some might consider another miracle. You can tell that they've, they're, they're altered for life. You can tell that their story um, and what they've gone through has really impacted them profoundly. Joel Markovich, the president and CEO of Jewish Columbus, returns from aiding at the border of Ukraine and Poland, saying his experience is hard to put into words. I've never really experienced seeing trauma like that in a way that was palpable to have such an effect on me and the people that we are with. The local team has contributed over $310,000, helping refugees in trauma maneuver to their next steps. I think the, the journey to the border for many people was hazardous. Um, and then they cross the border and then it's like, OK, so what do we do now? Board member Max Brickman paints a picture of families ripped apart to escape. They're crossing over into safety, but knowing that there are, you know, their fathers, their their husbands, their their brothers that are that are not able to cross over. Some of whom were Holocaust survivors experiencing the trauma all over again. Feels like a you know a flashback from a time where that they were persecuted by the Nazis, and now they have to leave their homes again after so many decades later after the Holocaust. It's unfathomable. The local team has buses transporting refugees to rented hotels in Warsaw, along with a preschool set up with teachers from Israel who specialize in trauma training. Their efforts now taken to a spiritual level meaning a call from Poland's chief rabbi. His major concern was he's going to have thousands of Ukrainian refugees with really no place to go for a Seder. With Passover Seder just a few weeks away, Jewish Columbus set out to make sure all the Ukrainian Jews could celebrate the holiday of freedom, hitting especially close to home this year. Thanks to local contributions, now over a thousand Ukrainian Jews will have prayer books and a proper Seder to remember freedom for their ancestors and their own. In Columbus, Ashley Bornanson, 10TV News.